I got the motors. I pulled them out of the helicarrier, so I'm actually still reusing these old recycled parts. So now I'm actually going to be able to satisfy my own curiosity. So you know these copters, right? These race copters? They're really small and they're easy to transport. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna take two of these high efficiency big motors. They run on 6S, higher voltage, more efficiency. I'm gonna bolt one to the top, I'm gonna bolt one to the bottom. These copters are kind of for racing and stuff. They don't fly very long time. Hover it up, go fast. And I'm gonna spool up these guys. And these are the high efficiency motors. So when these spool up, these will spool down and just be just for stability. So I'm gonna use these for stability and these for my lift and thrust. So hopefully I can fly for, I'm gonna project 20 minutes. If I get this quad to fire 20 minutes, what I'm kind, what, what kind of batteries are you gonna use, Peter? I'm gonna use a, a 1300 uh, for us for this thing to fly and the 3000 milliamp uh, that, 6S to fly, to fly these. That 1300 is not gonna be happy. I know, but it's only gonna be unhappy for about five minutes. Or well, no, less than five minutes, about um, 30 seconds. I would use a 2200. Whatever. <laughs> I'll try something. It's called flight test for a reason. Oh, this is sketchy. I don't like this. Well, we're going to duck down because this is terrifying. This terrifies me too. So, so we have these tiny little 30 amp uh, Luminar ESCs, which are ridiculous. And look how small these are. But they only go up to 4S, so that's why I'm going to 4S for this machine. Because I'm out of 6S speed controllers. So we got this giant motor, this little ESC, and a watt meter. And I'm going to check them out. You want to duck? Hold on a second, Peter. Hold on. Okay, we're ready. All right, ready? Yep. Ooh, scary. It's only 18 amps at full throttle. <laughs> it's putting out quite a bit of air. So this is scary, but I think it'll work. So for us, it is. So I'm going to use just one flight battery. So this, this is the new plan. Rather than carrying a 3,000, or, um, at 1300, stop, are you, how close are you? <laughs> Back up. Basically, we're gonna use one of these, okay. this 4S, 4200. My original plan was gonna be a 1300 milliamp 4S, and let's say a 2200 6S. There are a lot of numbers in this episode. So now we're going to one battery to keep it simple. Okay. So let's try it out. Don't know how I do it, but I managed to make a drone even more dangerous. This top force is always going to be in a swirl, so it's always going to be turning this thing a little bit. But you know, this bottom one counters that out. But the problem is, this, the air is swirling this way, but it's favoring some of these powers and it's disfavoring them. There's a lot of turbulence going on, so I've been feeling that the controllers are working overtime to fly it. But you never know. How are you going to take it off? I'm gonna put it on a. Oh, the big motors won't be. Yeah, they won't be running. I'll just jump up in the air and then spool up the big motors. And then it'll be like. And then I'll be like. Ah! And then it'll be like. Boo, 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 boo. And then it'll be like. Ah! And then we'll chase you around with it. It's all I know it's got propellers and propellers and propellers. And it'll be really scary. Okay, so here's the plan. Now that the motor's installed and the other one over here, I have my two speed controllers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my wire harness and put them into my aux channel, probably aux number six or seven. And I'm gonna tie it to my throttle slider over here. So I'm hovering, I'm gonna start this guy up and I'm gonna start flying using the big motors. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna slowly, slowly pull the throttle down until I'm hovering with the minimum throttle and just use the uh, small motors for stability. So I'm gonna finish installing them and then you guys can check back in a little bit. All right, here we go. One going this way, one going that way, one going this way, one that way, one this way, one that way. What could possibly go wrong? Of this because there's nowhere to run, really. Ready? <laughs> oh 
Como... <laughs> I hear he's like freaking out. I'm bringing it closer. <laughs> oh, it oh, caught on fire! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Turn it off! I think the motor burned up. One of those little support motors burned up. Well, it technically did work. But I have to do more trials as far as figuring out where the bottom throttle needs to be. Because I'm pretty sure the quad motors are running too hard while the while these guys weren't spooled up enough. Because these guys, I was barely on the throttle, all of the big ones. They were just like a click on there. And the thing was rising already. So I need to get new motors because, yeah. Yep, these are smoked. No good. All right, time for the sketchy business. What'd you change, Peter? It's now got the 2208 motors, 2000 KVs. Uh, apparently the, um, I didn't really pay attention to those Grobner ones, but they were 2300 KVs, and they were way over prop for what they were supposed to be doing, and they're running way too high RPM, so they just kind of burn up, so that was my own fault. <laughs> Whatever, not a big deal. We've got new motors, so we're gonna try it again. Sounds terrifying. <laughs> I don't know about this at all. This scares me. It's got so many repellers on it. <laughs> Give it uh, ah! Have you gone full throttle with the big motors? No. I don't want to. Take it out there further and do it. Well, it works. It's really windy out here, too. We're going down. <laughs> I got caught by a huge wind gust. Got my dowel props. Well, nothing's broken on it. Let's try it again. It's nice and cool. Uh, these are warm, but these big lift motors don't care. But I love science experiments. As soon as it's kick on, it just gets more unstable. <laughs> Man, I never heard a mini multi sound like that. You know what's interesting about this too? Is that the blade diameter is larger than the frame diameter. <laughs> so this is a 280 with a like 300 millimeter blade span. Is that even possible? Well, I guess it is now. Oh, well, see how long it just hovers. I'm not sure if we've been running a timer or not, but this battery's like half dead. Well, I'm just gonna keep flying it just cause. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I didn't really get my whole uh, 20 minutes that I projected, more of about nine minutes. Which isn't that much different from a regular mini quad. Uh, it's maybe a little bit better, a but little better. I guess it was hovering the whole time, but I'm pretty sure you can make a mini quad that can hover for at least nine minutes, which is normal mini quad stuff. So basically, we have all these blades going on here. You have one giant blade going this way. So everything, every time you have a blade moving, you, you're getting an air wash to come off of it. And all that wash is twisting in one way or the other. And all that wash is going into these smaller sub rotors, which is stability, and which is why I was having such a hard time flying it. Mm. And then you have all that high speed air now, because these things spin a lot faster to generate lift. So the stack, the airspeed coming off them is a bit higher, going other twisting directions. And that hits this lower blade, and it's making all that noise, which is why it sounds like a giant chainsaw lawnmower. Sounds like a lawnmower in the air. Yeah. Because if you notice, like on the Firecopter I did before, these two motors are running into each other. They don't make a lot of noise. Yeah. They just sound. They actually are pretty quiet. Yeah. But when you have this thing, it sounds like a freaking chainsaw. A lot louder than I thought it was going to be. So you have your low speed air coming off of these bigger rotors that they're not going as quick, but over a larger disc area. And then you have your high speed rotors, which is pushing a lot of volume through a smaller space because they have to the generate lift somehow too. So they just do it by moving more air through a smaller space. So that comes down to there. And then it hits this low speed rotor going in another direction. And then you got this giant like mess of air all over the place. So basically I got my thoughts in order as far as what I was doing with the motors. Cause um, the reason why I was using the big motors instead of the small motors is I want to try to use the big motors to carry the copter. 
So the big motors are more efficient on a higher voltage. When you go up in voltage, you go up in efficiency. But as far as this thing was going, it's designed for 6S, but I couldn't really fit a 6S and a 4S on this thing, because the mini quad can only take a 4S maximum. So I said, well, 4S is close enough. I'll just run at a higher throttle position, and I could use bigger propellers, but I didn't have them in time, so we ran with the 16-inch propellers. But all I really do is increase the RPM, so because you know KV is RPM per volt, I just need a high voltage setup. Didn't have many volts required, so just higher throttle setting. It's not tuned efficiently totally, but it was good enough to make something work. And you ran it all of one battery. Yeah, right? one 4200, so about 9.5 minutes on a 4200 4S. So all in all, this concept it was sort of proven, but in reality, I've seen things on YouTube where they've taken the motors and moved them outside of the giant disc area, the center lifting prop. Like I, I saw a gas powered multi-rotor, which is really cool. So yeah. it's, it was a pentacopter. But I would actually like to try it in the future, maybe with a turbine or something. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, that could be lift cinder blocks though, we did that. Well, what's next? What do you want to do with this now? Well, since I have it, I'm going to have to dismantle this, but why don't we have some fun with it? Let's go throw some fruits or something into it. I want to see it. if it'll do a flip. Okay, we'll do some flips and we'll do some fruit. <laughs> All right, let's do it. The motor just fell out, that's just about it. It pulled it pulled the G10 off our part. Alright, so that's a wrap. That's a wrap. See you next time. Perfectly cut Twinkie. Right? You couldn't even cut a Twinkie like that with a knife. No, you couldn't. <laughs>